Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making these yummy and easy salmon bites along with a side dipping sauce that goes perfectly with them. Good for any appetizer, for any event. So if you're interested in learning how I made this, just keep watching. Now to start off this recipe, I have one whole salmon filet that I've already washed and deboned. A tip for deboning your fish is to use a pair of tweezers. I went ahead and used a pair that I've never used before and it made deboning this salmon a breeze. So that is my tip for deboning your salmon filet is use a pair of tweezers if you have some on hand. So I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting these into bite-sized pieces and move on to the next step. So for my batter, I'll be using two cups of flour and some seasonings. And don't worry, I got you covered in the description box. I'll leave everything that I've used in this video down there along with the measurements. So with my seasonings, I'll be using Old Bay seasoning, lemon pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, and some salt. Give that a mix and set to the side. Unfortunately, I was not actually recording on this part. So here I have two eggs and about two tablespoons of hot sauce. You can use any type of hot sauce, but I used the red hot kind. So here I'm going to start by dipping my salmon bites into the egg mixture and then into the flour mixture and then I'm going to double coat them. So that just means after the, the flour, I'm going to put them back in the egg mixture and then back in the flour again and then we'll plate them. So now we are ready to fry these bad boys. So I'm only going to put in a few at a time just so that I don't overcrowd my pan. But in this case also my salmon was not cold so it won't drop the temperature. So I only had to fry these for about three minutes on the first side and then about a minute and a half when I flipped them over and they were ready. Just remember fish does not take long to cook so you really shouldn't need any more than about four minutes total for these salmon bites on a medium high heat. So the first batch is done. I'm going to take them out and put them on a plate lined with a paper towel so that they can drain off any excess oil they have and then repeat the process with my second batch. For those of you who like spicy food, I would add cayenne pepper to your seasoning mix and you can make these spicy or Cajun salmon bites which 
would be delicious as well. For the dipping sauce, I've combined about three tablespoons of mayo. In this recipe, I'm using vegan mayo because that's what I had on hand, but you can use regular mayo and it works just fine, along with about two tablespoons of sriracha and some dried dill. You can add lemon juice to it as well, just to give it a little bit of citrusy taste and it will still be delicious, but I did not add lemon to this. I just added those three, mix it together, and it is so delicious. It pairs so well with these salmon bites, and you will not be disappointed, trust me. Now, if you don't eat these all in one day, just store them as normally in the refrigerator, and the best way to warm these up would be the oven. And I wouldn't recommend the microwave because you'll lose that crunch, but yeah, just place them in the oven for about 7 to 10 minutes and they're just as delicious. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I hope you try it. That's it. It takes no time really and they are so good. I hope you enjoy them and let me know how you like them. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.